For this video, I will be demonstrating how to print a scale drawing from your model space using AutoCAD. Currently in front of me, I have a floor plan or actually an elevation view of a dwelling. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe by clicking the bottom left button. Remember to like the page and also share this with others. So first you will go up to your application browser, which is the big A. And you want to scroll down to where it says print. When you open up print and select it, you can go to where it says, let's go back here. You can select it and hover over it and choose from the drop down plot. Or if you just click it, it will open up the same thing, which is your plot. And it should say model because I am in my model space. At this point, you will want to choose if you have multiple things that need to be printed, you will want to choose what is being printed from the drop down here, what page, but we're already on the page that we need to be on. At this point, you would then go and choose the name of your printer or plotter. And then from there, you would go and select your paper size. So this is what size paper that you will be printing on. Right now, I am gonna be currently printing on a 36 by 24 inch page. So I'm gonna choose what the paper size is for that, and that is Arc D. If you are printing at a 24 by 36 inch page, then you would choose that. And also they have other page sizes or sheet sizes, which is 11 by 17. And you can also print the same way using the same settings on an eight by 10. From here, we will be paying attention to this preview that is showing the sheet. And then the image inside is what we're gonna select. To do that, you will go to your plot area and we're gonna just create a window selecting everything that we want to be printed. Click window and then it will come back to your model screen. And remember, we're gonna use a selection or cross window selection tool by going ahead and selecting everything that we want to print. Once we do that, then it will come back up to our plot page. We would like to go ahead and remove to where it says the scale. We wanna to remove to where it says fit to paper because we're gonna to go to the custom scale. This is where you put in the size scale that you're printing your drawing to. So whatever you had saved, or if you knew in your paper space you had this drawing scale to an eighth inch, a quarter inch, one inch, this is where you will select it. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and select, I want this drawing to print at a quarter inch, and I'm gonna select quarter inch. I want to make sure that I have center to plot so that way it centers it to the page. Notice when it's unchecked and then notice when it's checked. You also will want to choose that I, you saw in the drawing that I had my layers set up and I had different line colors for whatever that layer was, whether it was my window layer, my structure layer, my door, and then also, as you can see in the background, my text and dimension layer were in blue. Well, we don't wanna print this in the different colors. We want it to come out in a black and white scale. So you wanna make sure that over here where it says plot styles table, pen assignment, we wanna make sure we select, and that is on that microchrome CTB. What this does, yes, what this does is that it makes sure that everything comes out in a black and white scale. And then also any of your line weight setting for your border lines, your object lines, whatever those line weights are, they're going to show in your print. So you can see the thicknesses of the different line weights. Once everything is set up, you can then come and select OK. Or what I always like to do first is preview. You want the annotation scale 
is not equal to the plot scale. We know that. We're just going to say continue so that we can see our preview. And then here is the preview of how it's going to appear on the page. It's placed in the center. Everything that you have in your view or that you selected. If anything here looks a little weird or off, you can always go back when you select your X and redo your settings. But for now, everything looks good here. So I'm just going to go to my X. And then my plot setting menu comes up. And at this point, we can select OK and it will be transferred to your printer. If for any reason that you open up your plot settings and you don't see the second half, you will just click the arrow and it will open it up so you can see your plot styles table, your plot options, your drawing orientation, and so forth. But once everything is set from the plotter or the printer name, the paper size, you have this preview of what it's gonna look like on the paper. You change your scale. From here, you can select OK. Once I select OK, you will see at the bottom right of the screen, you will get a balloon or a bubble that lets you know if there were any errors found in the printing. Here you will choose where you want this to go to, what file, and things like that. Where you would like it to be saved. Under the name you want it to be saved uh, under. And then you will see that it says plot and publish job complete. No errors or warnings were found. With this, this should be going straight to my printer. And when I take it off the printer, I can actually take my architectural scale, turn it to the quarter inch scale, and all of my measurements will measure as they should on that quarter inch scale. I hope that this video helps and assists many of you with setting up your plot or printing settings and being able to understand how to print a drawing drawn in AutoCAD to scale.